Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this one, we are going to talk about SoFi, ticket symbol S-O-F-I. So this is a company that we cover here on the channel through the process of them uh, going public through a Spark. So I told you guys that I used their platform and I think it's an excellent platform. And so far, looking at where the company is going, I think this is still a, uh, one that you should keep your eyes on. So if you haven't already um, bought some stocks, this is something that you should probably do some homework and see if you can add it to uh, your portfolio. So I wanna talk about that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, when it comes to SoFi, again, like I said, this is one that I really like. I like the direction that the company is going. After um, their merger to go public, um, we've seen this stock go up and down. But again, I think it's still sitting at a position where investing in this long term absolutely makes sense again guys um this is a stock that i recommend long term but you can definitely catch the dips here and swing this stock again so if you remember last time we did a we did a, a video here i told you guys this thing was somewhere around 15 or so dollars i say this is a good spot to pick up some shares uh, let me jump here to the chart so you can actually see so um we saw this thing pull back maybe like last uh two months ago and I told you guys, so this is their uh, one month chart. So let's go here, six months. So if you can see here uh, back in May, where this thing dropped down to 15 bucks, and I said, this would have been uh, uh, 14 actually, this would have been a good spot for us to pick up some shares. And after we did that, look at a squeeze all the way up to a high of about $23, almost 24. And then now it's pulled back again. So if you look at the cycle, it's repeating itself. So it dropped down again to 15. And now if you miss this, this $15 uh, dollar price point, this would have been a good spot to get in again, but it's not too late. So 15 uh, sixteen dollars somewhere to get in there and then ride this thing up back to 2021 and secure some profit. That is for somebody that's looking to swing the stock. But if you're looking long term, each time it gets down to here, you load up. Each time it gets down to here, you load up. So all these dips right here, this would be good places where you can continue to buy and add to your portfolio. So that's something that you should actually keep in mind. So again, uh, you're playing this from two perspectives. Either you're playing it from the perspective of a long-term investor where you're just buying the dips and keeping it and just keeping it go, or you're looking for opportunities to make some cash in maybe in the next two months or three months, um, swinging it and, and putting that profit in your pocket. So for those of you that don't know SoFi, let me kind of give you a brief background here. So SoFi is a FinTech. So again, they have everything in house. Some people like it, some people don't like it, but I see why people are gonna love it. And I, I personally love it for, for, for the reason that you have everything in one. So instead of you logging into 15 different accounts to do 15 different things, you can totally lock into one account and do all of those things. So let's kind of walk through here. So they do investing. So you can invest uh, in the stock market. They have fractional shares. Um, you can also invest in cryptocurrency. They do personal loans. So you can apply for a personal loan. It takes about 10 minutes. You get approved. They do student loan fi refinancing. Then you can manage your money. So deposit your paycheck, use it to pay your bills and do all the other things that you do. They have a debit card or credit card and other stuff that you would need. Um, the home loan, you can apply for a home loan. If you're looking to buy a house and they would kind of approve or give you um, an idea of what you can be approved for in a really uh, uh, quick amount of time. Next year, they, they, again, like I said, they have their own credit card, their SoFi credit card. They can give you private student loans. If you don't have um, student loans through the government, you can go there and apply for private student loans. Obviously, insurance, they do credit score and budgeting, which is very important because as we know, majority of people don't even know what their monthly budget is. So this will be a good place where you can put everything in, into one spot and get a holistic picture of your finances. And then they also do auto loan. So this is these are just uh, some of the key things that they do. Also, they recently applied for a bank charter, which means that they would 
actually have a physical bank location and if this is approved by november you would see a boost in the and the, the price of the stock here and then for a lot of you guys that are in la you probably see the company has their name at the, the ram stadium sofi stadium that's the name that is again another opportunity during nfl games where this company would continue to get exposure and people will start looking up and trying to figure out what's going on there so again so this is something that you can definitely um you know do some research on and see if so far is something a, a good stock for you i personally think this is a good one but uh again that's just my personal take and you can see their um, user base is actually exploded they've actually just in the past year they've actually added 2.3 million users which is insane so the growth is coming the, the platform is growing is getting more exposure and so definitely go out there check them out like i said um the reason i'm doing this video is because there's a, an opportunity here to do one of two things to buy for long term or to buy the swing so if you catch it down here you buy this thing and swing it if you catch it down here you're buying and holding i'm i'm holding long term so when i get this these tips right here i'm just buying and holding so i want to make sure that i put it out there for you guys to get the opportunity to uh hopefully add this to your portfolio i see so far as a one-stop shop when it comes to money management investing and all that stuff and again this is not for sophisticated investors this is for people that just want simple investing if you have a job you have direct deposit you use so far money they deposit your money in there you immediately take your 100 or 200 dollars that you're willing to invest every month and put it into your investment account without leaving the platform you just transfer that into your investment account which is brilliant in my opinion it's going to force you to want to do this and you can also automate the process so it takes that money and just invest it in that platform and when you log in you can see what your investments are doing and you can see your money management and your credit card and credit score and all that stuff within the platform so again i really really like this one so let me know in the comment section what you think about this um do you have so far do you plan on buying so far if yes uh, let me know uh, what your strategy is going to be here moving forward. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get some free money, um, go to SoFi.com. I'm going to put the links in the description below. That's my affiliate link. Um, if you click on that link, um, go on there. You sign up. You get um, free money. Um, also, if you just go out there and refinance your student loan, you get about three or four hundred dollars just for refinancing your student loan. So definitely um, check that link and uh, go check it out and see if that's something that you're interested in. And also, if you are new to investing, guys, you want to do day trading and all that good stuff, you definitely want to use Webull because that's a platform I use. Again, I have those links in the description. If you sign up, you deposit $100, you get free stocks at no cost to you. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.